Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Aaron and today we're going to be talking about something that a lot of people are talking about Not even on the YouTube world, just in the console wars I guess you would say uh, in general And we're going to be talking about why PlayStation is getting Black Ops 3 DLC first And will it continue to the next Call of Duty? So, to start off this, I want to talk about Xbox. So, a long time ago, whenever DLC started happening on Call of Duty, Xbox 360 got it first, mainly because we paid for the service, we paid for Xbox Live, and Xbox really took hold in all the events. We Xbox had enough money to uh, make every single MLG event happen, and if you look up until this year, Xbox has hosted just about everything Call of Duty has ever done. And it's weird because, you know, we're still paying for the service, uh, we're still paying for Xbox Live, but we're not getting the maps first. And PS4 is, and the reason why, one thing is because, yes, they are finally having to pay for service. They, I think it's, I'm not too sure what it's called, like PlayStation Plus or something like that, not too sure. But they're starting to have to pay. That means Sony is getting a lot more money with the PS4 than they got with the PS3. And honestly, it's almost, I would say, not really doubled, but close to like half, like 1.5 maybe. And it's, it's kind of strange how Call of Duty would switch over to PS4. And the reason why it sucks is I know there's a ton of people out there that's like... Oh, but you guys have been getting it for all these years. It's fair that we're starting to get it now. Not really. Because you got to look at this. If you have something and then lose it, it sucks. But if you've never had it and want it, it doesn't, you know, it's not that bad. I mean, it is pretty bad, but it's, I don't know of a great example to put this as, but Xbox has lost something. PlayStation has only gained something. PlayStation never lost anything, in fact. They just never had it. It was never yours to begin with. But Xbox, on the other hand, for however many years, had DLC. And whenever they stripped it from it, that's why a ton of people on Xbox are really upset with the decision. Because it's it's kind of sucks, really. Because... You lost something, and that's a big thing. You never know what you have until you lose it. I guess that's a very good expression, and it works with this too. And that's why a lot of people are upset. So, if you look now, PlayStation are hosting all of the Call of Duty events. Uh, whatever the last one was, down at the bottom of the flyer, it said PlayStation hosts are hosted by PlayStation. And I'm not too sure why, because one, I do think in the grand scheme of things... No one should get DLC first if that was the case. Like, they shouldn't have just gotten it 30 days earlier and pushed Xbox back. That's kind of bad business if you think about it because it's saying, yeah, PlayStation is going to pay, but why does Xbox have to wait even longer? I think it should just be at the same date. You know what I mean? If PlayStation was going to purchase it, which they did, why can't it be at the same date? Why can't they purchase... 30 days ahead instead of 60 days ahead because I mean relatively if you think about it they got it 30 days late if they would have like took Xbox place they should have got it 30 days on even on par with Xbox but they got it not only did they cover the first initial 30 days they also did extra 30 days and that's why Xbox is getting it late I don't know exactly what the terms are like how much they paid for this but it's probably a substantial amount. They probably gave a ton of money to uh, to Treyarch, to Activision, to allow them to do this. Now, this isn't a console where it's not which console is better. Because, as you guys know, in my opinion, no console is better than the other. Because it's pretty much the same. It's where your friends are. That's where you need to be. That's what console you need to be playing on. And whenever you do something like this, it switches up the community... A lot and that's why a lot of people are buying PlayStation 4s now PlayStation sales are tremendously going up I'm I don't know exactly the number but let's just say like in a scale 10 million or 10 million dollars have went to Xbox one purchases and like 90 million have went to PlayStation 4 so there are a ton of PlayStation 4s out there and 
I mean, you can't say that PlayStation's bad because <clears throat> the last time that PlayStation held the record for sales was the PlayStation 2, and it's still going on. So I do think the PlayStation 4 in this regard could possibly be future-proof, but the thing that you need to know is that the value of the PlayStation 4, because there are so many out there, are going to substantially go down whenever you go to try and trade in your console. And to put this in perspective again, go into like a used game store and try to sell a PlayStation 2, <clears throat> see how much money you get. And then try to sell an Xbox original and see how much money you get. Almost 50 to 100% more in value because there wasn't as many. So hopefully you guys can get that. It sucks. I know it sucks. PlayStation, they paid them off. They got their money. They got their dues. <clears throat> Hope you guys are enjoying your 30 days early. Happy Valentine's Day for you guys. My name's Aaron. This map sucks. And I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video.